How's it going guys? Simon Rodriguez here with Pure Image Design at my mall location. And I want to let you guys in on a very special project I'm doing with famous artist Todd McFarlane. We're going to go ahead and tackle this hockey helmet you see here. It's going to a special friend of Todd's. And we're going to work on this helmet together. So I'm going to let you guys in on kind of the process. And hopefully I'll be updating videos as we go along. I got a good amount started already, a good foundation to work off of. And I got some great detail going in it so far. So I'm going to let you guys in on how I do my process, as always. I'm not going to share too much because a lot of artists make DVDs out there. That's how they pay for their, uh, they pay for their bills and all that kind of stuff. But you get to see my process and hopefully be inspired by it. So we're going to take a close look. I'm working with my Badger Matrix. And uh, right now I'm just working on the details and the texture. It's very important as an artist that your artwork have a lot of detail. Acknowledge a lot of information, get all the little subtleties uh, and render them. Acknowledge the subtleties in reality and then learn how to create those subtleties. All the details add up. It's all about the details. The difference between artists that, are, that have much more accomplished uh, work and that works much more, I guess you could say, um, it just looks better. Usually it's because artists pick up, certain artists pick up more on the details than others do. Basically one artist can study one reference and get 100% of the information and the other artist maybe can get only 50 and 40% and you can see that in the product as they're painting it, what they're missing. So that's something I learned years ago. It's all about information and applying that information to what you're painting. So right now we're just working the highlights on this piece. We're gonna give it its pop that it needs. And I'm about 40%, uh, 50% done on here. Once I'm done, Todd McFarlane's gonna go ahead and ink this piece as if we were doing a comic book. So uh, you know, I'm pleased to work with Todd. He's a re world-renowned artist. He's got a lot of accomplishments and it's such a great honor for me to work with them. Um, so we're gonna make this goalie helmet look really nice. We're gonna, we're gonna impress him as well as impress his friend who's receiving the helmet. Now, I'm making sure that I get a lot of detail in this piece because Todd's gonna be acknowledging a lot of the details. And he needs as much information as possible to work off of. If you guys know, if you guys know Todd's work, he's He's very meticulous when it comes to picking those little details out of a shading, of, a, of stylized highlights, clothing, armor, the cape that he does, the very famous cape of Spawn that he creates. If you look at all his inking, they're very detailed. They got a lot of little, little, real tiny, like flicks and, and almost stippling with the, with the ink pen but they're done so subtle and so tiny. And that's what he's known for. He has a name for these little type of uh, squiggles he does with the ink pen. I can't think of the name, but he does have a name for that style. There's a word for it. What we did here is uh, he provided me the, a concept sketch and uh, I'm basically working off of a sketch of his. I did uh, tell him that I was going to stylize all the effects, the texture effects, the lighting effects, the scales, the eyeballs, everything. I told him that I'd be giving it my style. And uh, he was fine with that. He's a great guy to work with so far. We're having a fun time on this project. And right now, again, we're just plucking at all the details. That way he can have a great foundation to work off of when he begins his, his ink work. He's going to use traditional brush, an old school style on this piece, and he was—he is trained with that, and he's trained in a variety of methods. But from my understanding, he is going to be using a brush on this piece. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and work work on a little bit of the of the scaling throughout this video, just so you can get an idea of how I work in my details. I'm using all Badger products. Uh, especially, except the paint. The paint is mainly, mainly about 98% urethane. I did use a couple of colors as uh, just real subtle overlays over the piece, but I do not recommend it because it needs the adhesion. It's going to be getting banged up quite a bit. So, uh, and it's, you're going to be taping over it. You definitely can't use 
uh, Spectratex, which is what I mainly use on textile work. We're just working our way around here, making sure we acknowledge all the details and all the subtleties of this piece. Hey cameraman, what time are we on so far? 5.20. Alright, we're doing great on time. I like to keep these videos at about 10 minutes. And I got a reduced white and I'm just taking the opportunity to use the white where it needs to be used. And a lot of this comes natural. Uh, I know where it needs to go. It's, it's, it's all, it's, this is all, the genesis of me understanding my highlight effects is a lot of studying of, of nature and, and my environment. Learning how light works with objects, light works with mass, with vapor, vapor meaning smoke effects, fire, gas, um, and solids like rock, stone, bark of a tree. Understanding all these, uh, you know, natural creations around us. There's so many natural beauties or natural creations all around us for us to be inspired off of. One does not need to look far to find something some sort of inspiration just in nature alone. We have The building blocks are there for us, guys. They're all around us. It's up to us on what we want to do with the building blocks to apply it to our artwork. And again, it's all about being creative. Don't copy, guys. If you want to become great artists, don't copy. Be original. If you can draw, you're going to have to probably copy, but make sure you do get permission to do so. It's, uh, artists hate that. Especially when they work so hard to come up with something so innovative. Next thing you know, a million airbrush artists are doing it without any permission. And that's kind of a slap in the face to, to the artists who work their whole life to come up with some original. So if you're going to copy, send an email, get permission. If you're training, study the masters of modern day, old day, get into their brains. And that's how you become the, a great artist with a variety of styles. By studying other styles, but then learning your own style. That way you have identity in this world and you create history and are woven into the fabric of our lives. So this is kind of how I've been going about this piece, slowly but surely, adding in a lot of detail, the subtleties here and there. And I'll be uploading video as we move along. Hopefully in the next couple videos, you'll see an interview with Todd McFarlane in his office at his studios. So guys, stay tuned. Jaime Rodriguez, Pyramid Design, jrodairbrush.com, guys. Catch you later.